I really like watching uh, evangelist television. I, oh, yeah, no, it's great. I like watching it almost from an artistic uh, point of view too, to watch like the, the actual crowd, like they just do crowd work. They're great MCs. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's genuinely um, inspiring way to connect with that many people. I like to watch it to kind of see if I could be a more uh, evangelistic stand-up maybe is to kind of employ their techniques. And it's weird to try to figure out whether they believe it or not. Yeah, that's that. I'm always it's looking at their confusing. eyes to try and see. And because my exorcist, I thought both. <laughs> he, oh, I thought he, he said that like he's your <laughs> acupuncturist or something. My exorcist. Oh, yeah, my, I thought is he, he was still both. your exorcist? Yeah, he's still my so, exorcist. Because uh, he's not your ex-exorcist. No, he's not my ex-exorcist. <laughs> That I thought both he was kind of scamming people out of money. Yeah, and demons. But I thought he really believed it. So it was like you would both, have to. It was I both think. at the same time. Just to, to go around hitting people with Bibles, you would have to believe it. The other thing I've noticed about America that we don't know in Australia, like if you're like an evangelical Christian mm. or anyone, like the way you make money is by... You just have to get it off yeah. people. Whilst in Australia, you get it like off a funding body, like the, like Film Victoria or whatever. Yeah. So like when you're in Australia, like that's the hustle. Like it's like, oh, I have to fill out these forms and da 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 da. And that's how hopefully in the future I'll get some funding to be able to like pay the rent. Whilst if you're an evangelical guy, you think he's got to hustle his congregation and just get more money yeah. out of them because he can't go to Film Victoria. <laughs> So there's a limit to how much we should be judging these hustlers. When we all hustle ourselves, we just hustle in different ways. I read an article about Rick Rubin, that record producer, who I, I've liked him ever since he produced the Beastie Boys when I was young. And I just, I did notice, because occasionally I have photos of him, that over my life he's got, and until he's like Buddha size. Oh yeah. And he said what went wrong, because he's recently gone a health kick, what went wrong is he went vegetarian and he did that thing of vegetarians healthy. Yeah. When really, if you're kind of gobbling trying to make up protein and all that yeah. other stuff you can end up Rick Rubin Buddha and then he just said he goes I just his diet was going back to meat you know he's kind of wow yes but um <laughs> in, in America everyone is there's lots of big food I don't understand in Australia they're always doing this big thing where, where they're trying to rip you off by making things smaller like there's ads in the Herald Sun, oh, articles in the Herald Sun where it's like Tim Tam now smaller but they're charging the same <laughs> whilst so there's something going on where they're trying to say but in America they're all yeah making it bigger bigger yeah you, like you go to w whatever you get there's something more like you go to get some I don't know some like scrambled eggs and it comes out to you and there's two scoops of vanilla ice cream and <laughs> scrambled eggs it's like what it's like no that's how eggs Why that's not? how scrambled eggs are done here eggs a la mode is and that everything like the bread tastes like cake like you just go into a shop ah, and get like bread and it's like they've sugared it up I so really it tastes like cake, cake yeah I would be milk happy with that. oh you go to like Tastes it's like cake? no it's really hard to get milk that doesn't taste sugary compared oh. to like I don't know what the hell's going on they're probably anyway. putting things with sugar and stuff that's probably what's, that's probably the secret yes